Hi, today I'm going to show you how I model lamp words for life on teletherapy. First, I'll start by showing you how I use the green screen to model. Behind me, I have the core words or the home screen of lamp words for life. I do not have an actual green screen, so you'll see that my finger kind of disappears sometimes. We are in the process of moving, so I plan to get one as soon as we move. If you have a green sheet or green tablecloth or anything you can place behind you that is green or blue, I would recommend it because it makes your finger a little bit easier to see when you're modeling. So now I'm going to show you how I got this background and how I can change it when I'm modeling so that we're not only using the core board. So first, we actually need to get access to some manual boards. I downloaded this manual board set from AAC Language Lab, which is free. This particular download is free, and I will show you how to access it. This download comes with a table of contents so you can access whichever board you're looking for. And I always start with the home screen or the core words. And then if I know what I'm targeting, in this case eating, then I can look in the table of contents to find where I'm looking. So in this case, I know I'm looking for 6A and all of these white rows are showing me the different categories within that category. So I have Asian food, condiments, dairy, and so forth. So now I look for 6A. And this is my eating page. So from there, I can decide if I want to continue going further. And in this case, I would like to. So I would want my client to talk about snacks and fruit. So I keep looking, and then I find my pages. I have fruits. And then if I keep scrolling, I will also find snacks. Now to get these pictures, I need to take a screenshot or I could save one page to file. In this case, I'm using a MacBook, so I can press Command Shift 3 and it will take a screenshot that will save to my desktop. If you're using a Windows computer, you can press Print Screen and you can also choose to print to a PDF on a Windows and on Mac. Now that I have my screenshot saved, I'm going to take them into a Google slide and save them. So I'll show you how I do that. You can also do this in PowerPoint, but Google Slides are accessible for more people, so that's why I'm showing that. So here you can see some slides that I've already created. I do have my core board, I have my eating page, and I have my fruit and snacks page. So now I'm going to show you how you can do that. Start with a blank slide by adding a slide here. And if you'd like, you can change the layout to blank to ensure that you don't have any text boxes. At that point, click insert, image, and upload from computer. Look for the screenshot that you just saved and add it into your slideshow. So you'll see that it has a bunch of extra things around it from where we screenshot it. So we can choose the crop tool and crop it down to just the image that we want. And I can press crop. Now I can resize it to fit the slide. It will be slightly too tall, so I would prefer to lose part of my message window, which is that top white area, than the actual buttons themselves. And now I can check and see what it looks like. Now I can change this up here, the title of the slides, because when I save it, it's going to save whatever that says. So I could say lamp words, words for life, core, and save. Now when I press file, download, and JPEG, it's going to save my file as lamp words for life core. Now that file, download, JPEG only saves the current slide. So you'll continue to do that with each of the slides that you're saving. So in this case, again, I have done several foods and when I save them, I just change the name up here to a descriptive name. So I could change it to Lamp Words for Light Fruit, which will make it easier to access when I'm actually in Zoom. So now I'll show you what that looks like if I am sharing my screen and modeling on here. So here I have my core board, I can work with my client and we can stay on this page, which is perfectly fine. But if I'm modeling how to navigate the device, then I might actually need to navigate through some different pages. 
So we're talking about eating. And I want to start changing my virtual background. So I said eat, now I can press a new background and it looks like I'm actually on the page that we're modeling. I can scoot out of the way and they can see all the different parts of this page. So we can talk about eating, we can work on adjectives like hungry, and we can also point to the different categories. So I wanna check out what's on the snacks page. And look, now I have snacks. So I'll show you how I switch between those things now. So this is what your settings should look like. When you are in your settings, click on virtual background and then add your pictures by pressing this plus sign. It might look a little different on Windows, but just add some images. And then whenever you hover over the different images, because they are a little difficult to just distinguish between when you're actually doing it, because we renamed them up here in the title, when you hover over it, you'll see which one you're choosing. So when I was changing those in my example, I was able to see that this is the eat page and this is snacks. You can add endless numbers of these pages and switch between them while you're modeling. It definitely takes some practice, but I see a lot of client engagement when I'm doing it behind me. So now I'm going to show you how I use AirPlay to show my Lamp Words for Life. So first, I need to click share at the bottom of my screen and then this window pops up. I need to click iPhone or iPad via AirPlay and I always make sure to click both of these so that the client can hear my or my tablet sound and I believe clicking this box helps the animation show a little bit better. So now I'll show you what this looks like. So I need to screen mirror and I'll show you how you do that as well. Click up in the top right or pull down from the top right and then press screen mirror and choose the name of your computer. Once you do that, you're able to model pretty seamlessly using your device. So I actually attach a Bluetooth mouse, connect a Bluetooth mouse to my iPad for easy modeling. It's a lot easier to see what I'm doing. So in this case, again, we're talking about eating. That big yellow circle makes it a lot easier to see what I'm talking about. And now I can model eat, eat, or anything on this page. So again, I could go to fruit and we can talk about different fruits. Apple. So that is how you use AirPlay. I'll show you how I change or how I connect my Bluetooth mouse and also how I change what it looks like. In your settings, go to accessibility and touch. Once you're in touch, you want to make sure that assistive touch is turned on and you can scroll down until you reach devices. This is just a Bluetooth mouse from Amazon for around $15 and there might be specific instructions like a pin number. So connect your Bluetooth mouse and then you can get back into assistive touch. Once you're in accessibility and you've already connected your mouse, this is how you would change what it looks like. Go down until you get to pointer control. And here you can change the color, you can change the size, and you can also change how quickly it scrolls. I like to make it pretty large so that it's easier to see. And I like to use yellow because of the high contrast. So those are just a few tips for how I model using AirPlay directly from my iPad. Yet another way that you can model would be more of a low tech option. So I can actually just share the document that I downloaded from AAC Language Lab. And again, this does have a table of contents that can tell me where to go. I recommend having this available on a separate device so that you can easily scroll to where you need to go without returning to the first two pages repeatedly. So you can download it on an iPad, you can just print it out, you can write down the pages that you need just to speed things up. So if I were modeling this way, I would just pull it up on my screen and press share screen the same way that I did with the iPad and AirPlay, but I would just choose this window. So I can press eat, 
nothing's going to happen because it's a PDF, but I can scroll at that point to the eat page and model for the client or for the parent how to then move on from eat. So we can say eat and return to the core words, or we can start diving deeper into those categories. The final way that I model LAMP Words for Life is using PASS software. So I'm currently using a MacBook, and unfortunately right now PASS is not available on MacBooks, but if you are running it on Windows, you can Google PRC PASS, go to this website, and you can download this PASS software for free. It basically looks just like LAMP Words for Life on an iPad, but it runs on your computer instead. So there are several downloads on the site, depending on what you are downloading. And it works great. I just don't have access to a Windows computer right now. So I will link a video of how to use Pass. It looks more like the dedicated version than the iPad, but it is great for modeling. After a certain number of days, you are no longer able to hear the voice on Pass, but it works wonderfully for showing how to navigate the device. It's also a great way to learn how to navigate LAMP if you're not familiar. And I will take this chance to tell you that the AAC Language Lab is a great place to go to learn more about LAMP and the other language programs or vocabularies like Unity. So those are some ways that I model LAMP Words for Life when I am doing teletherapy on Zoom. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you again soon.